Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $99,661.16. In the past year, I am up $24,649.46. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $7,597.78. Today was a red day for me. During the day, I was down $1,321.65. After hours, I'm down another $155.40. So overall, about $1,500 down today. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return, I am down $57. I'm selling Disney $95 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return $56. I'm selling Google $170 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return, I am down $43. I'm selling SoFi $8.5 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return zero. I have a target diagonal spread. I have the target $100 call expiring on December 19th, 2025. And I'm selling the target $140 call expiring August 30th. So far, my total return $105. I have Amazon $140, $130 with credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, $6. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $92. I'm selling Disney $95 calls. These expire October 18th. My total return, $10. I have McDonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $540. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $1,990. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $703. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, zero. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $1,286. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $179. My average cost, $98.94. My total return, $24,024.18. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.35. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $10,360.80. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $89.82. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $8,928. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $167.45. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $2,497. This is a margin account. 
My margin total is $86,377.73. My margin used is $61,761.31. My options collateral is $22,000. This leaves me with $2,616.42 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $26,000. $892.85. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest I'm paying is 10.31%. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of interest free margin. So, red day today, lost a bit of money, but um, like I said before, it could be worse. <laughs> Uh, so I'm happy. I'm basically at 100k if I round up. Something new today is that I actually opened a position in Target, my diagonal spread. So I bought the Target $100 call expiring December 19th, 2025. So that's, you know, further away. And I chose a strike price that's lower than its current price. And I'm selling the Target $140 call expiring the end of next week, August 30th. So my goal with this is to basically um, make money off of the premium from the call that I'm selling um, that's expiring next week. And overall, it should net me a positive return. Assuming that target stays, you know, relatively at $140 or more, um, but we'll see. They do report tomorrow. Their earnings, they report tomorrow, so we'll see what happens if they report good numbers or not. I actually read an article here. Will Target's earnings disappoint or deliver? Why it matters more this time. Walmart's latest financial results assured markets that U.S. consumer spending isn't veering off a cliff. What Wall Street wants to know is whether target earnings will underscore or refute that positive vision. A favorable result not would not only be a positive for the stock, it could offer additional reassurance about the economic outlook. The numbers are due before the market opens on Wednesday, so that's tomorrow before the market opens. Target's first fiscal quarter left much to wish for, and investors aren't holding their breath for a blowout second quarter, the three months through July. Earnings were lower than expected, while sales declined 3.1% from the same quarter a year earlier. So, their last report, they did not do well, right? They reported bad numbers. Skepticism has only risen since then, writes city analyst Paul Lehuse. In the past three months, the, consens the consensus forecast for second quarter earnings has fallen by 0.8%, while expectations for the year ending in January 2024 have been cut by 2.4%. According to Fact Sect. While second quarter results are likely to be at or above street estimates, comp traffic trends appear to be moderating into third quarter when they should be improving, wrote Greg Mellich an analyst at Everscore ISI, in a note last week saying the numbers could hurt the stock price in the near term. Oh boy. So, Target's been losing customers to more value-focused competitors such as Amazon, Walmart, and Costco. The company has launched several initiatives in a bid to lure those shoppers back, including rolling out a revamped loyalty program, introducing a low-cost private label, cutting prices on thousands of household mainstays and partnering with Shopify to launch a third-party marketplace. But those efforts will take time to pay off, analysts say. What the market really needs to regain confidence in Target is to see clear evidence of sustained improvements in demand for non-essential purchases. Discretionary goods have long been Target's bread and butter, driving both top and bottom line growth. So a recent pullback in spending on non-essential items has hit the company's results hard. Walmart's management team said last week this quarter was the first time in 11 quarters that the company saw an uptick in spending on general merchandise, a category that includes lots of discretionary items. They warned, however, 
that the shift wasn't so much a result of what is happening for the economy, but rather reflected how Walmart has been expanding its product assortment. So I guess what people want to see is how is Target doing in its demand for non-essential purchases? So we'll see. I did go to Target recently. They're selling a lot of Halloween stuff as well as, you know, outdoor furniture, things like that. So we'll see what happens. But then again, that's this quarter, right? The earnings that they're reporting for tomorrow are for the, the past quarter that already ended. Um, so we'll see. But yeah, I do have that position, the diagonal spread. And I'm hoping for Target to stay at or above 140. Right now it's at 145. So even if it goes down a little bit, uh, it should be okay. But only if it's down a little bit. If it crashes hard, then I'm in trouble. Um, but we'll see. So yeah, tomorrow before the market opens, that's when um, Target will report their earnings. And hopefully it's good. Um, that way I'll make a little bit of money. All right. That's it for this portfolio update. If you guys like this type of content and you guys want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.